Hi, welcome to another Divi Body Commerce tutorial. Today we'll be running through the mini carts and cart icon settings tab in uh, Divi Engine Body Commerce settings page. So, the first thing is mini mini cart settings. So, what is a mini cart? So, by default, uh, Divi has this is a Divi layout. I mean, this is not a a default WooCommerce product page but if you see previous videos we'll show you how you can customize that uh, but let's just go this is uh, the, uh, the cart icon and what happens is by default you click on the cart icon and it takes you through to the cart or basket page what a mini cart is is when you hover over the icon a, uh, a just a, a mini cart will drop down so it will show a preview of the basket with options to check out or go through to the basket page so let's just show you so if you want to use a mini cart click yes save the settings reload the page and uh, when you hover over it you'll see there we go we have our cart, our, our cart contents with view basket and checkout and the total so it looks alright and there's some settings we can do here so the first setting is to remove item text so uh, when you have more than quite a few items in there it, it has like the number so it'll say like two items or two item uh, sometimes it says that if you want to remove the item text you can say yes so you see there's no it doesn't have the item text next to that card icon mini card width so you can change the width of the actual mini card so it's currently 360 but you can set it to be bigger or smaller Okay, so the horizontal distance and vertical distance. So this is where it gets, depending on your design of your website, you can move the mini carts. Now, what I do is I, if I go uh, inspect and then uh, go to Body Commerce, look for the ID Body Commerce mini carts. And then in Chrome, actually, I'm using Firefox in Chrome, you can have it so that you can see it while you move it. But anyway, you see how it says right zero. If you you can move it using your up and down key. So let's say I, let's say I wanted it like I don't know there minus 80. And if I go top, I can move it down or up. Let's say I wanted it. Don't know. Let's do it for even number 60. So minus 80 and 60. So right is minus 80, top is 60. If you go back to the settings over here, uh, how far? So how far left or right? So we want to do it minus 60. And the top is no minus 80, wasn't it? Minus 80 and 60. 60. <laughs> uh, so let's see what happens there. And you can see it's been moved ac across and up a bit. So that's how you can you can manipulate where you want the mini cart to be based on the cart icon to make it so it's perfect where you want it. Remove link text or icon. So. To remove the product you have this little icon over here with the X. That can be a bit confusing to some customers so you can make it so it's got text. And then reload the page and then you'll see it'll have the word remove which I think is better, better UX. The next section is next section is Ajax mini card settings. So in order to use the, this you have to have this you have to enable it in the body commerce general mods tab. So go through to Divi Engine Body Commerce Mods and in there make sure you have this Enable Ajax Add to Cart. Yes. In the overview uh, video I, I run through all these settings so let's just make sure we have that enabled and what that does is if I reload this page it adds this product to the cart. Now it adds it to the cart. If you hover over the the mini cart, it doesn't appear. If you reload the page, it appears, which isn't good because you want it to appear right there and then, don't you? 
so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you so if you go back to this uh, to the mini card card settings ta uh, tab we have this Ajax mini card settings so are you using Ajax mini cards yes do you so that will auto update the mini cards so let's just show you that right now so save set save settings and reload the page add to cards see it has the number over there three and if you hover over it you have the three two beanies add another one four three beanies so that's, that's pretty cool uh, but what I like to do is I like to take it a step further where we auto show the mini card after updates so say so yes and auto show, auto show delay and, and time to close so say how long it takes for a mini card to pop up so once you click add to cart how long before the mini card shows and then how long before it goes away so I like to have it so after two seconds it shows and after five seconds it goes away so let's save the pages so we'll save the changes go through to the product page now add to, add to baskets there we go two seconds the mini card shows with the contents and then disappears it just gives the user a bit of a uh, you know a, a bit of an in inclination that it's been added successfully and then they can still hover it and they can still see what they've got there you can style your mini card so mini card background color I'm just gonna again I'm just gonna do this quick it's not gonna look any any pretty remove shadow yes or no subtitle text size subtitle text color prod image size so let's move it up to I don't know 64 product title text color product title dot size and color pricing size and color remove size and color you can also have custom styles for the buttons um, add so you can background color blue what whatever so that's all kind of you understand all these um, save the changes and you will see it has the blue and white it has this gray background and you can change all other settings so obviously you know you can make it start it started to look exactly like you want it to look like for your shop uh, this is just just to quickly show you that how it, that it does work you know I'm not, I'm not really making it look beautiful I've mentioned in previous videos how I'm going to create a uh, tutorial I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make a really like you know slick beautiful looking e-commerce website and I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to use body commerce to make that so it's gonna go really in depth on you know the CSS and customization so we've styled it the next the, the next part of the mini cart score cart icon settings is to change this uh, cart basket icon if you click use custom cart icon we have all these uh, SVG icons that we've created and in the future we'll be adding more uh, so let's just use this one for well let's just click yes and see what that looks like just to give you a, a visualization of what it looks like you will notice how nothing's changed and that's got to do with the Ajax uh, adds cart like the way it auto updates the the contents in the mini cart what it does is it's is it's a it'll, it'll update based on what the icon was and it'll keep it like that so it's called uh, fragments so pretty much the best way to explain it is that the only way to kind of you'll see if, if I click add to card now it'll override with a new icon uh, and then if I change the icon now it'll stay as this one until I add to cart and it re refreshes the the um, mini carts contents updates you know so what I'll do is I'll just uh, remove the the 
Ajax uh, to cards and uh, just to kind of show you how just to kind of, so we can work out the mini card first and then I'll add re-add it back in so let's just test that if we update to that 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 uh, basket icon for example you see it changes without having to add to baskets once we've styled the cart icon how we want it we can re-add the Ajax add to cart okay so we have the the, the cart icon uh, you can choose any one of these ones you can choose you can say how wide you want the icon and then determine on what icon it is the heart will scale up as well icon color icon background color and then the background padding left padding right padding top so so the icon color let's say we're going to make that white and the background color we're going to make red we're going to add 10 padding left 10 padding right and 5 on top and bottom let's let's just do like 20 20 10 let's just do that for 2010 let's just do that as an example so you can see and you see how it's got the 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 text was always there it was just in white now because the background's red you can see it's got six items that's where we can remove the item text if you were to say yes that would re remove it and it would just say six okay so let's go back down here uh, enable numbers so enable a num enable or disable the number counts so that would be the six we can remove that if you want and then you can change it so it doesn't say items it could be uh, I don't know if you're selling cars it could be cars so six cars in the cart I don't know or you can just delete it and remove it as well the icon position from right so again we can so we can move that see so, so it's really close over there I can move it over to the right and I can move it up upwards so for I'm just gonna do a test to show you uh, and number count, uh, counts text color and number count font size so you can change the oh sorry I actually did the wrong settings there didn't I so the icon position so it'll be this one over here so I'm gonna go minus 10 uh, minus minus 10 and minus 20 that's gonna be the icon so the icon's gonna be up here somewhere oh you see that the items has gone away that's because I removed the items from uh, here I removed the text from there so you could the number afterwards the appearance you could just have it just as a number or you can have it as a background so what I would like to do is I would I'd would probably leave I would uh, leave this one as blank I mean I'll, I'll, you can do anything but I want to make my color background as transparent the icon color I'm gonna make I don't know red or no actually the red and red won't look good or actually I'll do red and then I will uh, change the count background color to be blue and the back hover to be black or purple just so you can really see it and the count text color to be white update that so you can just play around with these settings and you see how I've changed it to be like that and then on hover goes purple and you can combine the two that I showed you so you can have a background behind the icon and the numbers and have a background of the numbers so you can kind of create whatever style you want yeah so that's it ready for the mini card and card icon settings uh, you can use all these settings to manipulate how you want it to the appearance of the the card icon and the mini cards if you have any questions please email us or support ticket us comment below on YouTube and uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for listening. Any questions, g give us a shout. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Have a great day.